Most city consists of about 30,000 square feet of actual space. And we have a hill built inside. Uh, we run Team SBM out of here, which is a competition team based in Texas. And look, we just come in and train today. Uh, so this is a good gym that if you're in the city of Houston and you're either you're competitor or non-competitor, just come here and just work. Welcome to Built by Iron. Built by Iron, season one, episode six. My name is Kimberly Shepard and I'm an IFBB pro. I started uh, competing in 2007. I did my first show and then continued all the way up until 2013 when I got my, uh, when I went to the Olympia. When I got to the point where I decided maybe to step back from competing and uh, take a little break, I got into the judging. Somebody had asked me if I um, wanted to become a judge. And I was like, yeah, I would love to, that would be great. So I started judging back in 2014, and I've been uh, on that NPC judge the 14, 15, 16, and then this is my, uh, I guess, fourth year. And then I started posing about three years ago, and that's ultimately kind of what I do here at Houston's Gym. I do bikini posing and figure posing for the women, and um, keeps me pretty busy. So uh, September 9th, we have, um, I'm awarded a show, I was blessed enough to be awarded a show last year in 2016, it's the East Texas Championships in Longview, Texas, and um, we moved it up a little bit at September 9th, 9th this year, and um, it's just very rewarding to be able to um, put together such a wonderful event for these competitors in kind of a smaller city, it's still in, you know, state of Texas. But to watch all these athletes that have never competed before, to step on stage, and to be backstage and a part of all of this, and knowing that you put this together, being a promoter. So I just feel so blessed that I was awarded the show. And um, I just see it continue to grow. And um, Longview is a nice little town. And um, you know they're very excited to have NPC there. And so, um, yeah, it's just been very rewarding to um, be a promoter. My advice to most of these competitors, which I talk a lot about in here, is just don't be so hard on yourself. Every show is a different show. There's different competitors, different judges. Um, you know, sometimes our mirror, the mirror can be your friend, sometimes it can be your enemy. So we just need to kind of sit back, really realize why we got into the fitness industry, and be positive. Like, we step off that stage sometimes if we don't get our, you know, perfect placing and we question like what did I do what could I do different um, maybe I didn't do this or it's every shows different and I say walk off with that smile just as big as it came on when you stepped on because you never know you could go to the next show and that tenth placing at the week before show could be a first placing a week later it just all depends so you just stay positive and you just keep you know going at it and reaching your goal whether it be your pro card or getting to the Olympia and um, you just keep doing a national show until you get you know, you know your IFBB pro card and you keep moving from there but just don't be too hard on yourself. Thank <laughs> you. 
professional level. And things go a little quicker and, and they run like a high performance, especially for the pros. But I do miss that NBC camaraderie and the amateur level. Becoming a coach, you've got to have a background on nutrition. Okay? Not all coaches uh, do the nutrition. They might have a nutritionist that does that, but at the same time, it's good to be well-rounded. I'm going to go to a coach that knows their stuff on nutrition, look at their experience, how many people have they put on stage. I've been coaching for the past eight years now, and I can honestly say that from eight years ago to now, I'm a lot more experienced because of all the competitors that I've had to be. But most importantly, I know what I'm doing. I'm not just giving anybody a cookie cutter meal plan. And so I'm not going to give one girl the same meal plan as another. A lot, a lot of it's going to be similar, but not exactly the same. So you got to know this person's body. You've got to know how he reacts to them. You've got to know the type of workout, the type of body type they have. So you really have to have a great knowledge base when you're going to coach somebody. So if people are coming to you for help and you feel like that, oh yeah, I can do this, I can be a coach, I want you to really, really put yourself in their position and think, you know, when I go to somebody who isn't as experienced, and if you want to be a coach, then ask another coach who's been in the business for a long time what they did to start and where they come from, where they got their education, because this is a constant learning game. Big competitors or, good, or new competitors or ladies that come in that say, you know, I don't think I can do this because of, you know, I'm busy with work, with kids, you know, uh, doing A, B, C, and D. So, the question you really have to ask yourself is how important is you want this? We all make time. We all make time. I mean, I've coached ladies that are single moms with three kids, you know, married, taking care of, you know, mother-in-law and everything else. So it's all about finding that right balance. Uh, me being a single mom, when I first started doing this, it was definitely a challenge. But I knew how important this was to me. First, my fitness and health, and then, of course, competing. And But my priorities never changed when it came to my family. My family's still number one. My son's still always number one and important. So I just made sure that I found that balance between work, being a mom, and also just getting everything done. So just have heart and with the right support, especially because that does take some support. You know, I guarantee that if you want it, you'll find the balance. Next time on Built by Iron.